I have to say, the sound design on this is amazing. It's visceral. I can't believe one person made this. There's one video that the community has recommended I react to for some time now, and that is Warhammer 40k Astartes, which I believe is a fan project. I have a little bit of experience with Warhammer. I played with my friend who's really into the game, but as far as the lore goes, my knowledge isn't so much there. I know there's Space Marines. Uh, when I played the game, I used the Plague Army that he set me up with, and it was a lot of fun. So let's jump right in. If you enjoy our time together, please consider looking at some of the other videos we've covered on this channel, including our World of Warcraft cinematic journey, which we're continuing tomorrow. Let's hop right in. All right, Warhammer fans, lore masters, join me in battle. 482.m39. The Argosa uprisings have been checked. The Tributor Astartes now assists the hunt for fleeing leaders of the rebellion. All right, here we go. Really excited. Ooh. Awesome opening image. Gives you a sense of scale and space to establish the setting. Ooh. Really love the coloration on this. I love those little insert shots in the editing. That was really well done. Uh, it's showing that, yes, they're a brutal machine, but they have culture with the incense there. It's very cool. They're uniform, but they have culture. I love this shot. It gives the impression that there's such a machine. Yeah. Astartes. Awesome. Awesome intro. Really feels like they're just a like hive mind uh, level because they're so well trained, they're so well oiled. This is awesome too, this FPS shot. It gives a sense of danger, but you're getting so close to the asteroids. Love it. That's so cool. It's so impressive that one, one person made this. Wait, what? Oh, okay, that was intentional. This is like, they're just gonna ram it like a Greek trireme. Really, really cool. Oh, man. So awesome. Some really interesting editing going on here. Oh, wow. I love the weird obscurity of these shots. What it gives me is it gives me a feeling of the others are so below them. They're so not on the same level that like they feel disoriented. I can't really see what's going on. It's like I'm those weaker soldiers. I just got destroyed. Look at this guy. Really cool character intro there. Really, really nice shot. We're gonna get the rack focus, of course. Beautiful, beautiful work here. Now we're working with a lot of analogous harmonies on the chromatic circle. Uh, if we're talking about color theory, very similar coloration. And it's beautiful, but it gives this dark and dreary feeling at the same time because of the greens and blues. Oh man, I love it. They're literally dodging the enemy's bullets. They're so efficient. They're so deadly. So well done. Man, look at that. Again, more beautiful blues and deep greens. I love the use of negative space in the editing here. It's the person who made this is so clever for that. They're using so much darkness. That was a great shot. I love that. Really interesting composition with a lot of these choices, too. That was awesome. Again, the disorienting camera angles to kind of show uh, a lack of preparedness, almost. They're just destroying these enemies. Just annihilating them. Wow, that sound design. Incredible shot right there. I love that. We we tracked with the camera around the corner. Look at the smoke moving. Ah, oh, there's such a beautiful sense uh, of movement and immersion in the in, in the texture of the space here. And I love the use of, of negative space again. The smoke parted right there. Uh, just such a such a visceral feeling that we can all identify what that would feel like, what that would look like. And look at these guys. Beautiful choice to have that shot behind them. There are no words spoken yet in this, and, and we're, we're establishing the lore and, and these characters. Like, who are these guys? 
Who are these guys that we're attacking in this rebellion? Whoa. I have to say, the sound design on this is amazing. It's incredibly well done. Look at that freakishly quick run in the armor. These guys must be strong to pull that off. What is this like psychic power ability that these guys have? The sound design, guys. Incredible. Oh, I love the respite of sound right here. Oh, you can feel it. The bass, I, the sound design is high level on this guy. I'm so impressed. You can feel it. I, I can't believe it. It's visceral. It's visceral. <laughs> the, the, the knife. I can't believe one person made this. I can't believe it. The texture, the sound, it's so well done. My heart rate is pumping, man. Oh, wow. Incredible. I, I'm so impressed with this. The editing, the, the, the absence of any music there was so genius. They had this just visceral, like, kind of primal sounds happening. It made it so intense. My heart was thumping. I feel like I'm in this fight. I feel like I'm a part of the fight. Like, it's it's me that's going to get, uh, you know, destroyed if I don't stab this guy. Incredibly well done. Wow, guys. So much to talk about here. Look at the coloration now. Wow. Yeah, this is incredible. I love how there's no dialogue. I feel so immersed as if I'm on this mission and I'm afraid to speak. I don't want to let my presence be known, so I'm just focusing. Look at that. Look at that image. And even this, like, it just evokes a feeling of mystery. There's that incense again. Is this some sort of, like, shaman uh, who, who, who functions in the ranks of these marines? Like, what is the lore here? And look, we have different ranks, perhaps, because he has a cape. Almost like a Roman. Man, this is so well done. And they have like some sort of bionic uh, situation here. Maybe this is the guy who had his eye cracked. Now, are these guys like completely organic or do, are these suits kind of like uh, helping them move? Because how are they moving that fast with that much weight? There's got to be some juicy lore behind that, right? Again, the use of negative space and the absence, uh, uh, very, very light composition. Using darkness to fill out the image and, and give a sense of mystery. What is that? What is this? Again, I love the music choice. What is this Goliath, like giant? The music choice almost feels like sound. Like, I would hear this weird thrumming as I'm, as I'm, you know, making my way cautiously through this place. And it's just the, the mood, we call, it, we call it mise en scène. The mise en scène of this entire set piece is just, it's dripping with mystery. It's dripping with intrigue. My goodness, it's so well done. And there's those analogous color harmonies again. In this case, adding to that mystery. What is this? It's like a thrumming heartbeat. Wow. What, a, what an effect, what a visual effect, the like blurring. It has a similar visual identity to the guy who was like with the psychic powers. So I'm led to believe that it is related to those guys. I need to know the lore though. This is so cool. Like I said, lore masters, if you have any tidbits for me, this is just intriguing, man. I'm gonna have to ask my friend too, who plays Warhammer. Look at that. And what are we doing? Maybe extracting something from it or just destroying it? And look how it's dispersing the, the blues. Yeah, the visual effects, the sound design, it is high level on this. 
Not a word spoken, by the way. Not a word of dialogue. And there's so much visual storytelling, visual narrative happening. Like, in a similar way to The Mandalorian, you know, we're experiencing emotions with no facial expression. It's, it's a body language acting. What the? Did he just possess one of the guys? This has to do with the incense, doesn't it? This The reflection! The reflection, that transition was so well done. The edit. The, the shaking! Oh, man. Did he get possessed? What happened? Did it take over him? Oh no. The music is telling me foreboding. Foreboding. What? Oh my god, the intensity. Okay, my question for the lore masters, was that planned or was that the mission went south? We had to take him out. I am so impressed. Oh no. It's it's assimilating them. Horrifying. Oh, that's not right. What an image. It's like it's water. Yes! What? It just... Oh, that's terrifying! <laughs> that's them inside it? Wow! Again, the sound, man. The lack of... What? Oh, it really just blasted his hand off when he tried using the weapon. He's alive. Unexpected. We finally get the face of these guys. This would be such a good opening to a film. Such a good opening to a film. The questions that are being asked narratively. And what in the Elden Ring is that? What an image. Oh my god. That was such a beautiful image. And that's the end of Star Taste. Guys, I am so impressed by this. Thank you for your amazing supporters. With it. Yeah, listen. Shout out to the creator on this. This is incredibly well done. I don't think it's over though. Hold on. Oh. So cool. If you'd like to support the Start Days project, please consider that. Yeah, honestly, please support this guy. <laughs> Special thanks to Chapter Master Ulrock. Markiplier in the YouTube community. There you go. Awesome. Yeah, listen. Amazing work. Amazing work. We're going to talk about it. I want to talk about a couple things in here. I am so impressed. This image. The composition. I mean, this is a this is a painting. This is a painting as a frame that you could have on your wall. Like, what is this? The questions. This would make such a good opening to a film. It's about 13 minutes. Um, and to have no voices. Uh, there was a little bit of voice. A tiny bit of, like, almost different uh, languages and whispers and stuff. I have so many questions for the lore masters, but what I, what I will say before we hop in is if you've been enjoying our time together, please consider subscribing, checking out our other videos, hop in the Discord community. We've had so much fun in the Discord recently um, with the Warcraft community and everybody else hopping in. So if you want to talk about this, please hop in. We'd love to have you. The links are everywhere. And let's break this down, man. This is unbelievable work. I am so impressed with this. 
uh, and it's interesting, sort of, again, color theory, the only other time we have this rich orange and sort of bright image that is not negative space uh, heavy is this. It's the opening. Hold on, it's lagging here. It's such a high fidelity. Of, yeah, this is the only other time. So isn't that cool? We have almost like this bookend to the entire thing is this beautiful orange color. It's very lively. Uh, it's a little bit more full of life. And then the rest has this just darkness to it. Visceral nature to it, right? Glorious. Let me up my quality here. I don't know why we went so low there. Yeah, like I said, just the intensity, the, the standouts to me are the sound design. The music is, is kind of deliberately uh, less in your face. It feels like a heartbeat. It feels like I'm on the mission the entire time. The level of immersion in this is just high. It's very, very high. Um, so, so, so impressed. And the use of abstract imagery is another one I want to use. Um, abstract images, like this kind of spherical structure that they're trying to get at the whole time. Um, and I love how the director here was able to spend a lot of time. Uh, it's a project by Sayama Peterson. Shout out to you. Amazing work. Um, I love the abstract images. And the director here, uh, Sayama, was not afraid to linger. Let the shot breathe. Let the audience breathe. And then when it's time for the big shots, it's time for the big action sequences. This particular one standing out to me quite a bit here. This sort of duel. Um, really, really impressive camera movements. Very, very quick, clever edits. Yeah. Just eating this. This shot right here, where he shoots through the smoke, is one of the standouts to me for a lot of reasons. I want you guys to note the sound design uh, and the, the kind of intention here. It's such a clear intention. We follow his weapon up, and then it becomes almost like we're him. Almost like some sort of first person. And you get that time to like kind of take a second to prepare and then hear it. And we go, what I love here is we go from the intimate. We go from the intimate with the shot over his shoulder. And then we back it up a little bit. And then again, the sound design is so good. And it's not just like cool sounds. Uh, it's very cleverly crafted. For example, we go from the intimate tight hallway. The sound is very in your face to this. And it's as if I am like a quarter mile away in the corner of this massive space and I hear this the echo in the distance and it's so well done for that reason yeah now this is the one I was talking about again this sort of visual storytelling I don't know who these guys are right I saw they were directing some troops earlier but look what happens here we see them look over here and then we get this shot and this is the one that I was like, so well done. Now, this visual storytelling is also foreshadowing because this is not only saying, oh, this is how these guys like kind of function. Uh, it's also revealing the design. It's like really cool. But this is in fact what this guy, this sort of like mechanical spine that's outside their body is in fact what they kind of sever later to destroy these guys. So just so clever to lay out the groundwork for that, right? Ahead of time. Beautiful, beautiful work to show that. And it's kind of like, we get the question of that. Uh, we get the promise of like, ooh, what's that? That's cool. Uh, for me, not knowing the lore, but you guys who know it being like, ah, that's awesome. All right? Very, very well done. They have this isolation feeling in that shot. But yeah, they just... It's, it's a pretty clever strategy here. They kind of distract him with that. And then, yeah, they're just hitting them from all sides. And then this particular guy runs out. There 
and this is what I love about the sound design. It's 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 so uh, ebbing and flowing, you might say. Like it's so in your face, and then it cuts, and there's respite, and it cuts, and it's back in your face, and it's deep, and then it's high pitched, and it's just like a. It's 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 an orchestra of different sounds. It's a literal orchestra of music with sound design, and it's just listen to it. And then we actually do get some music coming in, but it almost sounds like the, you know, psychic powers that are being used. And then there we cut. What a shot. What a shot. We cut right there. We cut off the sound. And, and these shots, man, they're so interesting visually. Like, like look at this shot. Beautiful, sort of claustrophobic framing. And then we pull out. And it's just interesting to see the different perspectives in the scene. What I like about it is they're deliberately cutting all over the place, like almost almost breaking the 180 rule, which is a rule we use in filmmaking for uh, the line of action, not crossing the line of action. In fight scenes, you are generally allowed to cross the line of action because uh, it's still readable. Uh, with the fighting and the action, you kind of have to if you want to if you want a really dynamic scene. But what they're doing in this sense is they're kind of deliberately jumping around to make it disorienting with the analogous color harmonies that I talked about. These guys are very similar in color. Like you know, besides the texture of his mask and does have that gold tint, um, it's kind of hard to tell them apart. So it's almost like we're using the sound design and perspective to tell them apart. Like look at this. It's, it's, there's so much going on. We have a guy charging. We have back to the cut of the eye cracking and stuff. And it's like, I'm holding my breath when I'm watching this. I almost was because look, and, and that's what it feels like, right? Until that guy rescues him. And there it is, severs the spine. And there's that visual promise again, right? And it's I, I I could go ahead and break down every shot and why I think it's well done and everything, but we'd be here, you know, till the cows come home. Maybe on a live stream sometime we can we can do that again because I would love to. This is incredible. Um, but yeah, again, shout out to Siama. I hope I'm saying the name right. Let me know if I'm not. Incredible work. And then interesting enough, we we end on the same establishing shot that we that we started on this bird's eye view of the scene. Um, you know, framed by this, but incredible work. So incredible. And then we go through to this, uh, to this structure again. This is like, almost had the foreshadowing, like, what are they doing here? Why are we here? And it's like, this is it. This is what we're looking for. I want to talk about, yeah, this guy. Again, Lore Masters, I'm so curious. But, and I want to be clear when I say this, when I'm like, what is he doing? What's his purpose? You know, why is he here? What's the incense? Does he, does, was it planned? Was it not planned? Um, I want to be clear that I'm not saying I should know that because the joy of the scene was actually not knowing it, right? I'm just curious now as like a fan of what's going on here. Um, I think why this works so well is I don't know what's going on. And this would make such a good opening to a full film because it's like, so many amazing narrative questions are being put forth, like almost in a, in a, in a short film uh, or, or like a short story aspect. Like, who are these guys? What are they doing? Uh, like I said, the promise of that spine thing, right? Like that's the sort of stuff that works so well in a short piece like this. Um, and the questions that would then be set up for the rest of the film would just be exquisitely done. Um, but look at that. Again, I, I really like how the director here lets the audience breathe. And then there's that there's that negative space. And I love that it, it's it there's a lot of long shots. And I, well I should say not a long shot as in a long lens, but letting the shot breathe in the edit. And there's something we call the rhythm of the edit when we edit film. 
And uh, this is so well done because, like I said, that insane claustrophobic fight scene with the sound design and the choreography back and forth, cameras changing, various perspectives. There's a guy running in, there's the three guys fighting. It's almost dizzying, and that's the idea. But now we, we let the audience breathe, and we let the audience's eyes breathe and ears. Right now we just have this It's kind of thrumming. Um, it's, not, it's not too in your face. We have this beautiful shot of the shadows. Again, just just an awesome visual representation of what's going on here. I mean, this is we talk about the rule of thirds a lot in composition, as I do in a lot of my videos. I know this left third is all we have in this image. Literally, this third and this third are completely empty, and for that reason, it's beautiful. And we have the analogous colors here. So there's just blue right here. And we have these shadows. But what's so cool here is the shadows extend into nothingness. And it's just nothing, no complete negative space into the unknown, right? And that's why it's so cool. There's a few of these images, that one included in the final one, where I'm like, this could be a painting. I love it. This is so cool, yeah. It's so cool. And again, this this is a actually a complementary harmony because we have that red. It's just piercing the image, the red of his eye. Beautiful. This, I also love. This is just to me like, lore masters, tell me what the heck's going on here, right? But to me, it's just mystery, horror. Look at the scale of this. What is going on here? And the music is so unsettling, right? But it's like, he looks like that guy's mask, okay. You know, I'm starting to, I'm starting to put the pieces together here. Just awesome visual storytelling. Now this, again, abstract sci-fi imagery. Like it's just, it's just a big sphere in a space. It's a beautiful image. There's a spotlight on it. My eyes are drawn to the image. Beautiful leading lines to the sphere. The focal point being this nice highlight on it. It's a great image, but because of this weird sound, it's unsettling, right? And also, like, how is the sphere floating there? Like, what is that? It's just so cool. And they just march on forward. Now, the next part I want to talk about is... Yeah, this. This kind of blurring effect, bleeding of the lines. Awesome. My question now is, like, what is this thing? What were they trying to do to it? What did they think they were going to do to it in that? You know, they end up getting like sucked into another dimension or something. I don't know what is going on. But yeah, this is what's so interesting. This whole next section is from almost like this character's perspective. And he tries to like commune with this thing, this this being. Is it alive? Is it not alive? Is it like the consciousness of a collective hive mind people? Like, I don't know. That's the kind of the vibe I'm getting. But I love that we go intimate there and it becomes like this kind of sacred figure it, for the first time becomes very vulnerable. For the first time, I don't see armor and just like awesome weapons and everything. I hear like a belabored breathing and all of a sudden it goes, it becomes very human. Listen to this. It becomes a vulnerable person facing this like insane all-powerful thing like this strange whispers and again this image like what a powerful image they're now just in like a different plane of existence communicating with each other so cool and i hear like a star taste that is like it's speaking to them it reminds me of, like resident evil like stars <laughs> like, Nemesis. And what I love about this, we talked about kind of respite in sound design and music, right? Where we cut to silence. Gives us time to breathe. This is the opposite. We're ramping up the sound uh, as if we're that guy. Because now we're from this guy's perspective. Both, you know, literally and in like the sense of how the scene is being presented. Like we saw from his perspective. But also, you know, I feel like I'm him in the scene. 
it's ramping up until it's almost unbearable, the sound. And then this is the first time where it's like, what's going on? Something's wrong. This guy is like in some sort of meditative, like, uh, ritual, almost. It's like, why did he just look at me? <laughs> and it's like, something's wrong, you know? And but I love that I look at him and, and the different perspective shifts here are so well done. That little jerk and the other guy looks now. It's like, what's he doing? Incredible. He drops his incense and this part is, it's, it's cool because it has the tension builder that sound. It's almost like, uh, it almost has a horror aspect to it with this reveal. Check this out. So I want to, I want to go back and look at some of these images because I didn't get to catch them fully before. So what he's seeing again, it's awesome because me as the audience, the uninitiated, I don't need to know what this is exactly. I'm getting the context of, is this the past? Is this the future? I know this looks like the skull statues at the end of the video now. So is he seeing into the pieces of premonition? I got more of a premonition vibe from it and that it's just too much for this guy to handle as, as a human vessel and he like loses his mind. And like they just got disintegrated right here. Oh my goodness. Incredible. Yeah, that's that's what it that's what it means to me. Like he he essentially lost his mind. The information has like overridden his brain. He's either lost his mind, like the, the energy that he was talking to this thing with. And he just they just eliminate this guy. Again, what is going on here? Is that like expected to happen when you have somebody try to communicate with this sort of thing? Was that part of the plan? It does not look like it was part of the plan. But again, I love that there's no voice information here. It's just me going, what? <laughs> like, yeah. And that, that transition I wanted to see again. It's almost like, is this this being's true form? Sound, listen, nothing. That is terrifying. Look at this. Look at that. So cool. And we have these like tentacles moving uh, on top of it. Amazing. Yeah. Incredible. And they get sucked in. This was, this was unnerving. This entire sequence. This struggle. Tries to pull his gun out and blast his own hand up. Like just... And again, this is so clever because it's something that we cannot understand, right? Like we've never experienced this. I hope if you have, I hope you're okay. But this, <laughs> it's the sort of thing where I haven't been sucked into an omnipotent sphere of doom. But what I have done is, you know, sank into liquid, sank into water, as I assume most of us have, right? And it's this feeling that you can imagine. It's like, ah, oh, it almost looks like it would be like a thick, muddy substance sucking you in. And uh, for that reason, I love how the director here chose to like make it a slow, unnerving process. You can feel everything. Like, look at that. Right? And this this vignette here, this is called a vignette when the, when the edges are closing in like that. This is really clever because it's like, again, if you're sinking into water, you're losing oxygen. And then just when this guy would be not able to breathe anymore, the vignette, the vignette closes. So it's like, yes, we're looking at him, but this scene, uh, this shot is from his perspective. Like his, you know, area of, of view and his breathing would be struggling there. So now this is really cool. We get this kind of like other dimension. Again, I love how each scene has its own like sound identity in here. There's so much thought put into it. And the tentacles have like, what? <laughs> this is insane. And then something happened there. Like something dispersed the tentacles. So that's something I didn't catch before. 
I'm trying to figure out what exactly that was. So what happens here? Again, lore mass. I'm just curious now. So something from the lower part of the frame, like, attacks this thing. Look at that. Because they, they seem well and truly defeated at <laughs> this point. And then there's just like this, I don't know. And the tentacles recede and kind of let go of them. Which to me is, you know, them being free. Unbelievable. And at that point, he like regains consciousness and says, I gotta get this mask, I gotta breathe. But yeah, this part, this last shot is just, again, sort of, sort of the pinnacle for me of visual storytelling. It's like, what is this? Where is he? Why is he? <laughs> you know, how is he? And this is something you can have on the wall. Again, the leading lines of this composition. And then the idea of seeing one of these and being like, whoa, oh, there's hundreds of them, thousands of them maybe. And the leading line of this incredible well of light leading down to this guy. Again, uh, the highest contrast in the image is this guy. So invariably your eye is gonna be drawn there. Uh, but of course these, these leading lines are like expertly done. And the perspective also draws your eye right to the horizon lines. It's just so well done um, as an image and it's a beautiful image. You would have this on your wall, you know, as a painting. Well, it's a little scary, but <laughs> it's still cool looking. Anyways, um, I'm so impressed with this. Shout out to uh, shout out to Siama Peterson. Incredible, incredible work. Uh, you guys should all go check this out. Uh, support this project. I don't know what because this is a bit of an older project now. I don't know what sort of support could be rendered at this point, but do anything you can because this is incredible work. Um, yeah, I would love to chat with the creator at some point on this. Just just beautifully done. And uh, Warcraft, uh, I said Warcraft, Warhammer fans, uh, you know, let me know what's going on. Because this is wild. This is wild work. Like I said, if you enjoyed our time together, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to check out some of the other videos we've done. Hop in the Discord if you want to chat. Wow, bravo. <laughs> bravo to the filmmaker on this. And again, it seems filmmaker who did this, which is amazing i cannot stress how amazing that is so yeah very very well done siyama thanks everybody for watching uh we're gonna go back to some warcraft content tomorrow coming back to the live stream so we'll be looking forward to that have a good night guys